Hey everybody. It's me, Mabel Moon. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be redesigning Jean from Genshin Impact. I want to preface this by saying this is not a criticism of the original design, which I think is fine. It's just for fun. But I'll go more into my design choices later and why I made them. For now, I'll start off by taking her original render splash art and doing a quick enough sketch roughly over it. I do this for two reasons. One is to accurately represent the parts of her that I want to keep and to help her be recognizable to the audience at a glance. If I were to draw her on my own, I would probably pick a less awkward pose to do for her design, but since this is just an experimental thing I'm doing just for fun, in my opinion, it's good enough. This is also how I found out that the characters in Genshin Impact just have absurdly long legs and absurdly short torsos. True shoujo protagonist stuff right here. Yusagi Tsukino would be proud. <laughs> anyway, moving on from there, there were a couple of inspirations that I decided to pull from in the redesign. The first is her ancestor, who is named Gunhild. Gunhild is also her f surname, named for said ancestor. Hearing that, was when I knew I wanted to take Jean in a slightly more Valkyrie-like direction, especially after doing her character quests. Gunhild is actually an interesting piece of lore, given the game and the namesake. In short, Gunhild existed in a pivotal point in Mondstadt's history where things were changing. Similarly, Gunhild Gorm's daughter, which is attested in the Fagskina, Egil Saga, Njal Saga, and the Himskringla is a quasi-historical figure who lived during the time of Great Upheasal in Norway. As such, and given Mondstadt's mixed up inspiration of Scandinavia and Germany and surrounding areas, I thought it would be an interesting way to take her design. You might have heard of Gunhild from the show Vikings, honestly I have to catch up on that one. <laughs> So I started by giving her some armor, which was a little bit of a challenge. I transferred over that hair ornament that we see during in the original Gunhild uh, render splash on the side to Jean for her hairstyle and made it part of her helmet eventually. And I also thought that a simple high ponytail, while appropriate given her personality, would be a little more interesting as a long plate. This would also harken back to the Valkyrie look. Given that Jean is a 5 star character, and 5 stars are usually supposed to be a little bit fancier than the 4 stars, I always personally thought her outfit was a little bit underwhelming from that direction. Again, this is no hate to the original designer. This is just what personally appeals to my taste. I like the original Jean design, and I just really felt like she could use some more oomph to really help her stand out in the roster, especially as compared to later 5-star characters of similar caliber. I gave her a helmet to protect her head and also some wing motifs to really drive home both the Valkyrie theme and her animal element, though I ended up not keeping the flowing wings. I felt like the helmet really drove home the Valkyrie look, so that's what I went with. Parts of her original design I kept. I, I like her color scheme, so I mostly kept it as is. And the side panels and belt on her torso are very nice. So I kept those two to add a little visual interest. I mostly decided to armor her up and give her an overskirt with some sashes and tassels to show off her status as acting Grandmaster of the Knights of Havonius. This would also, if she were being rendered in 3D, allow the modeler to give her some spring bones throughout her body that would react with her movements, making her model look less stiff overall. Side note, this is actually why so many Genshin Impact characters have little things hanging off of them, like scarves and tassels and capes and whatnot. It just makes the characters look stiff because, or less stiff I should say, because when you're doing with 3D models, no matter what you do to them, they will never look as flowy as traditionally hand-drawn models. You have to have things on them that are moving to draw the eye to visual interest. It just kind of helps disguise how stiff they tend to be. Anyway. 
I decided to go a bit easy on her coloring since this is just for fun. So I gave her some simple shading to show dimension in the shininess of her metal armor. Personally, I would love to see an armored up Jean in a future version of Genshin one day, as I'm just totally a sucker for the gallant lady knight type characters, I'd be rolling for her all day. Um, I really like Jean, and I really like how this design turned out. Um, it, are there things that I would have done differently? Yes, I probably, three weeks later now that I'm actually recording this, would have kept her little hanging wing tassel things, or given her a cape to harken more back to her original design. But mostly, I didn't want her to look too overloaded. I actually probably would have drawn her on my own in a different pose, instead of that awkward one that the original splash art had. If only because, you know, the weird shaped boob there <laughs> was a bit hard and difficult to deal with, with her shoulder pads and everything. Anyway, <laughs> tell me, what do you think about this new look for Jean? Do you think you would have done something different? Or is there another Genshin character that you think could use a little touch-up? Personally, I'm leaning towards Lisa. I like her design, but I think I could do more with her as well. Let me know in the comments below, are there any characters that you would like to see a redesign of? And be sure to subscribe for more variety content, mostly relating to art, video games, VTubers, and anime. I'm gonna start getting into reaction content soon, um, because I have been meaning to watch that new Gundam Yuri series, and I think the best way to do that would just be to dive right in and do some reaction content. So, with that being said, take care.